Yeah, of you. I think I think one one key is uh, to reduce fear because it's always the fear of being ridiculous, like like someone would would laugh at you, and in in societies where where the group consensus uh, is very strong. You, you obviously have a, a lot of good things, such mm -hmm. as people take care of each other, uh, they don't leave someone, you know, stalking Hello. on the street mm -hmm. and so But on the other hand, the negative side of that is that the group can be very, um, you know, put Press. down. Mm -hmm. right? mm -hmm. And they can, and the, the, the and I think the, the, the biggest problem is if you have a shame culture, because shame is a very uh, a very uh, bad feeling mm -hmm. people who feel shameful they uh, they close themselves and if if you feel fear that your idea and what you're suggesting that people will laugh at you or so then you feel shameful like you did something shameful mm -hmm. and uh, shame is something that is, uh, is, is is probably the worst enemy uh, shame or fear uh, towards new ideas, towards a new way of working, towards love, you know, that, that's everything that sits together somehow. Uh, so I believe that if you want to, if you want to take away, uh, if you want to open up, uh, I think you need to work uh, to reduce uh, shame and shaming mm -hmm. in society. And uh, for example, in, in schools and in, in kindergarten, so, you need to be working with the kids in a way where ev ev all everyone's opinion mm -hmm. is is, uh, is uh, equal, important. Anyone who raises their hand and has an opinion is being treated with uh, respect. Mm -hmm. uh, that is that is extremely important. If you do that, you will get a creative environment where people take initiatives and ask for forgiveness instead of permission. <laughs> okay.